What's up, man? It's Red Dragon back in the building. Kelly Belly didn't did it again. Shout out to Game. You know what I'm saying? We out here. It's only birthday. I see the Browns Stadium. About to walk over to that. Um, once again, if y'all are going to enjoy the vlog, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Technically, I'm already in Cleveland, Ohio. Today is October the 16th, Sunday. Just letting y'all know what type of time it is. See if I can get y'all a shot from what I see real quick. That's a stadium over there. It's a little blown out. So y'all can't see the people. But, um, yeah, man, we about to make our way up over there. It's for a drink, drink. I don't own brown clothes. If you know me personally, everything is red and black. So, red and black all the way out, as you know. No, it's not Ohio State game. None of that kind of shit. But, it's Ohio State nonetheless. Supporting the Browns football team. AKA in Ohio, man. So with that being said, man, it's where Drake and Drake. I'll let y'all see uh, once we do the meetup. Shout out to the game, man. I did miss that though. I missed it. 
My brain was gone. Tell them one time. I appreciate you, bro. Tell them one time. Go Burns. Big facts. There we go. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, we had to get gang on there one time. You already know what it is, man. It's Red Drakey Drake in the building. You know? Gang on that bitch, gang in that bitch. And he said, they gotta take you if you tell them you got a disability. And I do got, hey, I got drop foot, to be honest. So the fact that I do got drop foot or whatever the case may be, they, they would have to definitely take control of this shit blown out. Why the fuck is this shit was at 800, bro? Anyways, yeah, this shit was blown out. But uh, we fucked up going upstairs first, and we should have went around the building. So we on the wrong side, but we parked over here. We got to get way to the other side over there, which is that's where our seats is at. So with that being said, it's just like, yeah, they've been fucking around with us, man. So far, we got the Ohio State on deck. Y'all know what it is. All that good shit. Hold on, let me bring this bitch up for y'all. So at the end of the day, Hey man, I'm excited. This is my first time being inside of a gaming, not a, I said a gaming event, a football event, anything like that. Um, Y'all know me, I support Ohio State any and every time I can. It's the biggest thing to me. I'm a proud Ohioan. Shout out to any and everybody that fuck with the Browns, that fuck with Ohio State, period. If you a Patriots fan, y'all only gotta say one thing to you, okay? And you is cool. You was, you was cool because y'all Browns fans. Hey, if you was Patriots, I'd have to been like, I, I don't got to look, look real quick. I'm an Ohio State fan just to the course, if that's what it is. But, <laughs> and, 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 and we ain't good. I just, I just love Ohio State. I just love Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah, all my friends, I love all, but all my friends. All my friends are Browns fans. Yeah. So we, I'm celebrating my best friend's birthday. His 30th birthday is to yeah, that's what we celebrate. Happy birthday! What's that? So yeah, so that's what it is though. So yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Um, long story short, anyways, love Ohio State. That's what it is. That's what it boils down to. The next Patriot fans we see. <laughs> hey, who got the red paint? The next Patriot fans we see, we throwing red paint on. Yeah, so with that being said, we'll be back with y'all just some time, man. 
It's Kelly, it's on. You already know what it is, man. Uh, we're going to break shit down more like we have in the game. We represent the Cleveland Browns. Hats off to our heroes program. You got to give it up for Kelly. That's what I said. I just did that, man. Technically, would you come back to a another, rookie? Would like you come back to another Browns game? I have to, but I don't want to. Yeah, I bring the boys. Yeah. So Kelly, being from Buffalo, New York, how you feel about watching the Browns lose? It's most excited, show, Jersey. Out. Yeah, I mean, um, I think uh, this is the reason why I should be Bills Mafia, not a part of the dog pound. Oh but wow. Try so, to so be it, try to be a nice wife and kind of backfired. Oh well. Oh shit! Okay. So what you saying is technically you technically became a full blown Brown supporter. Other than I, the Bills, I just wanted to be layered. You want to be layered. So that's the only reason why you got yeah. a Browns jersey. This is Tony's jersey. It just doesn't fit him anymore. How do you feel about the Browns? <laughs> how do you because I got how do you feel about the Browns' performance versus how how much did it have an effect on you? Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. 
Yeah, where'd she go? What, what about Miami's right here, man? How you feel about the Browns? Uh, they're not good, but neither is my team. And for anybody who don't know your team, who is, who is your team? Uh, Miami. And why you say that? Why Miami ain't good? Lost three in a row. To who? The Vikings. The Vikings. A lot of Vikings fans here today, though. Yeah, a lot of Vikings fans. Yeah, that was one of the pinnacle <laughs> things. A lot of Viking fans did show up here today. Uh, any last words for any sports fans, anything like that y'all want to say? Anybody? There's, there's, always, there's always next year. Wait, what? Go, go Bills. Damn. Real quick, is the Bills doing better than the Browns, though? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. ask <laughs> obvious, stupid questions. I'm, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I, got, I got something for his ass real quick. Cause <laughs> I got to put my face on the camera real quick. Because I got to obviously ask the camera. I'm asking the questions for people that might not know. So why he want to say obvious dumbass questions is dumbass questions for people that don't yeah, follow sports. Questions. Well, stupid, whichever questions. Yeah. Stupid ass questions for people that don't follow sports. I'm Ohio State. That's it. I just love Ohio State. I support Ohio State, period. At the end of the day, whether he feel like that shit's stupid or not, that's his own fucking prerogative, period. Now, my thing is this. Broski told me about the Buffalo Bills. You know what I'm saying? Me not following sports, et cetera, et cetera. They keep me up on game. But I just had to ask the question. It was still a good experience. Yeah, the game I, was still fun. Like I tell everybody, from the, when y'all watch this vlog, the whole experience finding them period was just, that was madness anyway, just trying to find the seats. I enjoyed the game, I enjoyed it. I do gotta get to my first Ohio State game period. Uh, my first Browns game experience. To me, just being out here in whole was a good experience period. Uh, I enjoyed it anyway, but um, yeah. I don't follow sports like that, so I guess the Browns doing better than the well, the Bills is doing better than the Browns from this motherfucking standpoint. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Four, four, four games. You said four games in a row. That four. shit is sad. That, but and that's what I'm about to say. For somebody that don't follow sports, I'm just capturing and I'm asking questions. Man, so from from your standpoint, is the Buffalo Bills doing better than the Browns? Shit, hell yeah! <laughs> what, wait, is, what, 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 what fan is you? you got, oh, I'm you got a Ravens fan. Oh, you a Ravens fan? Yeah, okay, for sure. Oh, you from Baltimore? Yeah. Okay, for sure. For sure. For sure. I mean, at least you ain't a Patriots fan. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it, it helps. It helps the rub not be as bad. Yeah. You know. But um. But yeah. Other than that, though, yeah. I guess I'm gonna catch up with y'all. Uh, that's what that is for right now. I might ask a couple of Patriot friends what they thought about the game. If we can get some, but I, me being from Ohio State, I feel like that's a low blow. So I might not even do that in period. I might not even ask no Patriot fans. But I just enjoyed the whole experience, period. I think it was good. I think it was fun. Um, I'm lit. Had a lot of drinks, alcoholic beverages. I will say that. That shit was good. Uh, food is definitely overpriced. Shit like that is overpriced. Beer was overpriced. All that shit is overpriced. So that's just what that is. But long story short, definitely enjoyed it. But real quick, this is how quick you get access to the stadium. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. As far as the quickness of accessing the stadium, let's see what the stadium looked like after the game. Because most likely, I don't know if I ever come back to one of these. This is what it looked like after the game. That's how quick you access the stadium. Uh, I'm about to catch up, but I will say this too. Even though... Even though I have a dog in the fight, I'm just an Ohio State fan. It's still, something feels wrong about the Browns losing. I don't know what it is. That's just what it feels to me because I feel like they're from Ohio. So, but this is what outside when you come from the stadium, this is what you come out into out here. Let me, uh, and this is, I'm assuming this is Lake Erie, which it looked like a fucking ocean. For anybody that been out to Cali or, you know, you've been out to anywhere where there's an ocean. This actually looks like an ocean, but it's a lake. It's not even a fucking ocean, man. And this is how high up we is. So yeah, man, with that being said, I guess that's that. I'm a, I don't know how long where, where this vlog gonna go to, but I guess I'll just be breaking down more stuff as the vlog go on, as time go on. Beautiful city, Cleveland, Ohio State. Mess with it once again. Got my Ohio State hoodie on, just support. Uh, I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. It do feel like I can. I'm gonna say this. 
me not being a sports fan at all, like I don't follow sports, but I understand why. Make sure anybody around. I understand why people get their ass whooped after these games. I understand why. I don't pay partake in the activity, but I definitely understand why. There's a there's a sprinkle of saltiness that comes on. It's it's unexplainable. You have to be inside of the stadium slash be here slash rooting for a team to understand it fully. And I get it. Some people would never feel that way. Some people. But I think some people don't know they'll feel that way until up until they experience the, the real deal. So that's it. That being said, man, shout out to Kelly Belly, aka my boy Tom Wife, putting this all together. Just got all his, you know, his friends out. Let's do So yeah, man. It's Red Drakey Drake. Y'all keep talking.